Hi guys, I'm Deep Gautam. Welcome to .NET Techie. It's time to learn Angular 6. So if you are Angular 5, uh, working on Angular 5 and you would like to upgrade your application to Angular 6, this tutorial is for you. If you wanted to get started with Angular 6, this is the tutorial for you. So let us jump and create Angular project. Ng new and let's say I will call it Angular 6 tutorial. Tutorial and I hit enter so it will create an angular project let us see after creating we will see if it is required the migration to be migrated to angular 6 I will show you all the step demonstration how you can migrate this application into angular 6 so this is uh, this command is working on and it will uh, create the angular project for me after that once it has created the angular project since i haven't upgraded my node and i haven't upgraded my cli it will ask me it will force me to upgrade those stuff so that angular 6 project can be created so <coughs> let it create it project so once we run that particular command and see new angular 6 tutorial it is creating my project and it is in progress almost done and once it is done we'll see how our project looks like yes all right so my angular 6 process angular project has been created let us check whether it is version 6 or not so in order to do that let me open that particular project over here in my visual studio visual studio code editor <coughs> and uh, i have created my project in this location i will select my project uh, yes so it is opening my project and we will check whether it is angular 6 project or not so let us go cli.json and cli.json has uh, all the dependencies installed ok all right let us go to source folder and uh, go to my package.json and it says that no it's angular 5.2 so do not worry about that I will make this to run everything on angular 6 so how to do that just stick in with me I have consolidated all the materials for you at one place so first of all you know what you need to do is just go and uh, as per this upgrade guide the make sure it is node 8 or later so well what we will do we will run few commands over here so we'll check npm version. Okay, all right. We have pressed the command. It is this. Let's check the node version as well. And node version is 6.1. So we need to upgrade this particular version basically. So how to do that? I will say npm install latex. Here and let us check. So, command is working out for me. Yeah, so I have pressed this and it is trying to install the latest version of the node and it should be the latest version of the node. After that, we need to clean the cache, run few commands, and then proceed for that. So it has done the installation for me and uh, let us check it again what's the node version over here and it says it still is 6.1 npm iphone b it still is it is 6 now okay. okay so now what we need to do is we need to uh, clean the cache so in order to clean the cache we need to run this particular command over here yeah, that's done. Next command. 
you have for you i have everything for you in uh, one place so you not need to search at many places okay let's all right and i say and stable and let's see what it is not recognized so and stable is not recognized that means i will go and check my particular command it's a npm latest or npm latest All right, we'll go to next step and we'll see what's happening around. And we will say, uh, please install my Angular CLI as well as the latest version. So I will say here like this. All right, so here I can see that Angular CLI 6 has been installed. Uh, that's really great. Let's see what's next. Okay, so I need to update CLI. So here is the use of ng update command, and I am updating CLI to be present to CLI to the page. Okay, all right. What it says for to me is how to update this on instruction. Okay, all right. So it looks like um, our node case has not been updated. Let me update node case from the website. So we will go to node case or then update from that. All right, so I have installed a particular version of the node and let me see again ng update CLI and what it says. So it should update the CLI and you continue warning. Okay, this is greater than the local language. Okay, no problem on this. So it should do my job and update CLI. Okay. Fine, let me check it again. Hey guys, hey guys, so I figured out what was the problem. Basically, after installing Node.js from Node.js.org or the uh, command prompt, you need to clean the cache like this command I run npm clean cache. And then uh, you run that particular command which I shown over here. That was ng update for Angular CLI and uh, it is updating my Angular CLI. All right, so ng update has worked. We analyze your package JSON and everything seems to be in order. Good work. So that means a migration update has been done. You look at package.json, everything is Angular 6 and uh, relative core is 6, common is 6, form is 6, HTTP is 6, plate from browser is 6, RX is 6. So that's what the upgrade is about. So let me consolidate. Let me tell you the exact point, what problem we have faced and how we have troubleshooted it. First of all, you need to go to nodejs.org and download the latest node. After that, you come here and uh, follow these particular commands where you need to install CLI, you need to install CLI, you need to update CLI, you need to update the core. And after that, I don't need the Angular material, so I have just done ng update. And in case if it is not working, after the installation of Node.js, you are clear the cache. How you, how you clear the cache? By using this command npm cache clean post. So this will clear your cache and your Angular 6 application is ready to be used. So this is how you can migrate your application and you can get it started with your application. If you are having any questions, comment out. I will try to troubleshoot it. In while, please subscribe my dot, uh, channel dot net techie, type dot net techie on the YouTube search. And these are my video where I have high charge, charge, as AC, grid, prime, and cheap, all about everything uh, and uh, restful services integration in my Angular project. That's what I have done till now. I would request you to please subscribe, and uh, I will be coming up with the Angular 6 videos. For, uh, for uh, material design, for high charts, for charges, for AG grids, for prime NC, for uh, NG bootstrap, for NG RX, or everything I will demonstrate over here. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.